Hey everyone, this is Chris, the co-founder and head of services at Uptown Creation, a B2B marketing and lead generation company. And today we're talking about the Gary V $1.80 strategy and how it applies to LinkedIn. So the basic strategy of the Gary V $1.80 strategy is to go out and leave genuine comments and interactions on things that people are posting. Now, the real value is going to come from targeting the right people and having those interactions be targeted around people that either could be potential customers or potential people that will support you and engage with your content that you post in the future and just be that person that's going to drive traffic your way. So what is the Gary V. Dollar 80 strategy? So what it is at its most basic level is leaving your two cents on 90 posts a day to add up to $1.80. So it's leaving a genuine comment on 90 pieces of different com content each and every day and really allowing you to gain that momentum and start conversations that are outside of direct messages, but still a one-to-one -one interaction that's very personalized and very value additive. And that's really the differentiator is making sure that your engagements are value additive and not just nice or awesome or this post is great. So let's go into an example. So we'll go to Gary V's LinkedIn, just because that's a good place to start. So the first thing that you'll do is when you're going to anybody's profile is go to this activity section. So this will be where you're able to see the most recent posts and interactions of a particular person. So the all activity will show the likes and comments of that person. So you'll want to go to the post section and this will show you the most recent posts that they've made. And you can see that this post was made six hours ago, talking about LinkedIn and insecurities. And this post was made eight hours ago, talking about adversity. So what you'll do from here and the way to figure out what accounts to go in and do this on is to figure out where your end user would be hanging out. So for example, if you are a business owner that's trying to target other business owners in a B2B space, Gary Vee is a pretty good target because you know that a lot of business owners that are pretty forward thinking are going to be following his content and engaging with it. So to do the $1.80 strategy, you'll go to one of the most recent posts. So let's say this one that was posted six hours ago and go into the comment section to see where people are starting conversations and really just start adding to the conversation. So whether it's responding to a comment that's already there or consuming this piece of content and then leaving a post that's, or leaving a comment rather, that's talking about insecurities and happiness and how to really find that work-life balance. So if I was going to leave a comment, that might be what I would talk about. Then from there, what you're able to do that's just one post that you commented on at that point. So to find other people, you can start doing strategic things like looking at the likers of a specific post or the commenters. And the reason why you want to look at those people, like the people liking comments and the people commenting, are because those are going to be the people you know that are active on LinkedIn. So you won't be leaving a comment or trying to find content from somebody that isn't actually using the platform. So going through and just looking at the titles of people to see who would really fall into your demographic and then going and diving deeper by, you know, clicking into their profile, seeing what they say in their about section, and then going to their most recent activity and trying to find the posts that were posted, you know, a week ago. Um, and then add into the conversation. You can see that nobody's even liked or commented on this post. So if you leave a like and a genuine comment, that's gonna be something that's definitely gonna get seen by the person and really sets you up to start conversations down the road and also have that person check out your content that you're posting. Because now you're gonna have somebody that's gonna engage with your content and kind of pay back that favor. So let's use another example. Let's go to Hashtag wine lovers. So the other way to target things is to look up specific hashtags. So let's say I was looking for people that enjoy wine. If I go to the hashtag wine lovers, now I'm going to be seeing people that are posting things about wine. And it looks like this guy is doing a wine review and somebody actually shared his post 
So that's probably a good indicator that he has some sort of following. And you can see that his profile is a decent size. So if I go into the content that he's posting, it looks like he's doing you know, wine reviews on a pretty, pretty regular basis. So anybody that's going to be interested in wine is probably going to be hanging out on his page and engaging with his content. So it's pretty safe to assume that the people liking his posts are probably into wine. So if you have a wine company or something that revolves around wine, maybe you do videos around wine, these would be really good people to start engaging with, start connecting with, and really start to build your audience off of. Because if they like his content and he's into wine, and you're also posting things about wine, chances are that they'll engage with your content as well and really allow that content to just perform a lot better. So this has been different ways that you can utilize targeting strategies for the $1.80 strategy on the basic LinkedIn platform. What I'll go into next will be looking at the sales navigator. So this is a premium feature, but I really encourage you if you're spending any time on LinkedIn, to check out the LinkedIn sales navigator and see all of the targeting features that are available to you. So we'll do something unique here. So something that you're able to do in the LinkedIn sales navigator is actually target by postal code. So right now I'm in Iowa City, Iowa. So if I go to my zip code and then I'll leave it open to all different types of connections, whether I'm connected with them or not. It looks like there's 64,000 people within a 10 mile radius of me in Iowa City. And so the way that I like to do my targeting is based off of these people that have posted in the last 30 days. And the reason for that is again, making sure that we're targeting the most active people on the platform. Um, and when we go to their profile, we know that there's gonna be a post there that we'll be able to engage with. So you can get more granular from here by going to you know seniority level title, if I wanted to search all chief executive officers, oops, if I wanted to search all chief executive officers, I could go ahead and do that. And it looks like there's 74, 25 of which posted in the last 30 days. So that's a really good place to start the engagement. But let's say that I'm doing more brand awareness building and I'm just trying to engage with people that are active on a platform, but also I have that connection with because they're local. What I could do is just start clicking into people's profiles and really looking at the content that they're posting as well as their about me section and their headline. So if I go into their LinkedIn profile and again, go to the activity section, that's where I'll be able to see their most recent posts. So let's imagine that I'm a B to C business that is selling wine, for example. We'll use that example again. It looks like she just posted about passing a certification test. So if I was to go ahead and like and comment on this post, and again, saying that I'm selling wine and say something to the extent of, it looks like it's time to celebrate with wine or something simple like that. That would be something that would stand out, but also not be pushing your product too much. That's the fine line between, you know, leaving something that's a little bit funny and relevant to your brand and what you're trying to accomplish, but not overly trying to force it down somebody's throat. What that sets you up to do then is, you know, you could go back in two days and connect with her, send a message that might say, you know, I'd love to send you a bottle of wine for congratulations. Um, let me know your address and I'll send it your way. You can pick up another bottle if you like it at the local grocery store. If you do that for somebody, and have that one-to-one -one interaction, I can pretty much guarantee that you're gonna be finding somebody that's going to be a customer for life, as long as they like the product. If you're able to target people in that way and even potentially ask what type of wine they would like to have sent to them, that's just going to be something that's so different and to what they're used to receiving in messages from bots and automation, that it's really gonna stand out and be able to build a relationship that's going to be more meaningful than anything else you can do. And it's all gonna be done for free. So that's really the power of the $1.80 strategy and really LinkedIn as a whole is there's so many different filters that you're able to target from and they're really accurate. And also being able to have those one-to-one -one conversations rather than traditional marketing, which is one-to-many. 
how this comes back into really forming the ecosystem of marketing through LinkedIn is these one-on-one -on -one connections are really going to fuel the fire for the content that you're posting on the back end for those one-to-many interactions. So if you have a good content strategy and you're posting posts and videos, you know, anywhere from three to five times a week on LinkedIn, every time that you go out and engage with somebody else, chances are they're going to come and check out your page, check out your posts and start leaving some love in return. So the biggest thing with all of this is maintaining consistency. If you think 90 comments a day is just never going to fly for you, even leaving 10 to 30 a day, but staying consistent and doing that for 365 days in a row, the place that you'll be at a year from now, if you're able to do that consistency, consistently is mind blowing. And I can say that because I've done it myself for multiple years in a row. And just the engagements and the interactions that I've had from being able to form those one-to-one -one connections by just leaving genuine interactions on a platform has taken my career to another level that I would not be at without that legwork that I put in. And like I said before, the best thing about it is it's free. All it costs is your time and you learn a lot along the way. So I'd encourage you to connect with me on LinkedIn. My name is Chris Casalino and also check out our website at Uptown Creation. If you like learning a lot about LinkedIn, subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.